but obviously back down in Melbourne uh, for the NRLW double header this weekend. It's obviously a great spectacle to see the women's game being broadcast down here in Melbourne. Yeah, um, it's good to be back home. Uh, I can't wait to see our game, the women's game next, and also the men's as well. So yeah, it'll be cool. And obviously while well, you won't be taking part in the game tomorrow, just how exciting is it to be back playing rugby league down in Melbourne? Obviously this is where your journey sort of started a couple of years ago. Yeah, so yeah, I won't be taking the field tomorrow, but that's okay. I'm excited for what the girls have to show tomorrow. Um, but it's good to be back home. I miss it. It's been a while since March this year. So it's good to be back home. And obviously training alongside Brooke, she's a, a fellow Victorian. Is it nice having someone else there who's sort of had a similar you know, growing up story to you coming from Melbourne as well in the Parramatta squad? Yeah, Brooke, Brooke she's a cool chick. Um, I love playing with her. She's good, um, good for us in this team and um, she brings a lot of good skills and quality skills. How have you been the step up to NRLW? Obviously, you know, you, when you bring in those extra teams and, you know, accommodate for the travel and the extra sort of pressures that come with being in such a big comedy fan, that's something you've had to adjust to at all? Or? Um, for me, it's, I felt like it is quicker, so it's much quicker. Every single game is basically like a grand final in Harvey Norman, um, but they're all top quality players, so it's really quick. And this is your first season with Parramatta, how have you found settling in? I'm assuming the club's been really welcoming for you coming in. Yeah, no, the girls are very welcoming. Um, I knew some of the girls before, uh, and then some of the girls from Tigers, but yeah, they've been welcoming and they're really good to play with. Now you sort of started your journey with the Werribee Bears back in 2017? 2017, 2018, yeah. Yeah, so obviously uh, the Werribee, they actually took out the women's first grade uh, a couple of weekends ago. In the so just how proud of you, do you look back on your time at you know, your grassroots rugby league and sort of how has that helped you get to where you are today? Yeah, so the girls that won um, for the Werribee Bears, I played with most of them, or some of them. Um, to see them win again, <coughs> So when I was playing, I won as well, and then now they win again. It's so good to see, like, and some of the girls that play in there, I'd like to see them come up, make the move, or pursue their dreams. And yeah, it's really good to see them grow in Melbourne. And we've recently announced the Lisa Fiola squad that will be playing in 2022. Just how special to you to see the progress that women's rugby league is making down in Melbourne? Like, obviously, there's now some pathways to get to the top level like for myself. For me, it's a proud moment because when I moved, that's what I wanted to see and achieve. I wanted to see the young girls come up and come through and pursue their dreams in rugby league, whether it's here, Sydney, Queensland, wherever they go. So seeing them have Lisa Fiola Cup and play in New South Wales, it's so good to see. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. No, thank you.